It's Spreaker. Hang on. There we go. Anchor.com. Spreaker's in the house. Anchor's in the house, my friends. Good to see you. Good to be back on here. Pastor Rick Rella here live. Worldwide live ministries. We're on the air, my friends. I just came off of Blog Talk Radio. Doing a, just a little Bible study over there. Looking at the, uh, what is it? The uh, New Testament theology. And so much more. I'm excited about that, friends. But I'm just as excited because, friends, we're going to continue our Bible study in the uh, the book of John, chapter 9 and 10, my friends. If we can get them in, we're doing good, friends. Amen. You know how important uh, the book of John is, my friends? Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm excited. You should be excited, my friends. Uh, we are looking at, like I said, we are looking at the book of John. King James Bible version, my friends. We are ready to go. The coffee's fired up. The heater's going. Uh, we're in the new studios up north next to the goats, next to the coyotes. Uh, hopefully getting our, uh, getting our stove put together. And, uh, we are still praying on the uh, the wood and stuff coming in, uh, you know, uh, because the ceiling is almost there. It's getting there, but, uh, you know, we're praying on a financial breakthrough. Amen. And, uh, man, oh man, excited, my friends. So we got chapter nine, chapter 10, uh, in our continued Bible study, in the book of John, my friends, I'm glad to be here. Like I said, we got the coffee fired up, hot off the grill. The big book of love. I know, who fires up coffee off a grill? Well, uh, I sometimes I have to, friends. Anyway, uh, it's a whole other podcast, but we got to get into it, friends. Big book of love, coffee, paper, pens, notebook, tablets, uh, highlighters. Taking lots of notes, friends. Uh, I hope you got your... Your, uh, you know, your notebook, tablets, pens, papers, all that stuff. Because lots of scriptures to give you, friends. We're going to be looking at Romans 5, 121, as well as 2 Corinthians 6, 1 and 7. But right now, my friends, we got to open up in prayer. So we? Hey, man, let me get that cup of coffee. Man, is it cold outside the studios, friends. I just came from the VIP lounge getting coffee set up and, uh, you know, having a little uh, late night dinner. Uh, some I don't know what it was, but man, was it good. And uh, some Salisbury steak with uh, some mashed potatoes. Hey, man, God is good, friends. Uh, before we get into our podcast, our shout out list. And uh, definitely got to get the armor of God on. I'm ready to go. I'm fired up, friends. Just came off, like I said, just came off the air at uh, Blog Talk Radio. You can check that out. It's uh, it's going to be available. Well, it is available. Uh, amen. At uh, basically all our channels, uh, friends. So get the other one off of here. Uh, so, yeah, it's available. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, all the other channels. No worries about that. You know, God's good, and he gets this message out. So, let's open up in prayer. Shall we start off in prayer, my friends? You know, that always brings a smile to God's face when you talk to him and give him a prayer, friends. Amen. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, Pastor Rick Riley here live. On the internet radio, going round three tonight, friends. Anchor and Spreaker.com in the house. Uh, excited to bring the word, friends, as much time as, as much as I can uh, to get this word of God out. Hang on, I'm adjusting my microphone again. You know, I've been having some issues with that, but uh, I switched out from the tabletop one, the uh, drum mic. 
uh, stand and uh, switched out to the uh, the boom stand. So it's booming. We're ready to go. I got fired up here. Well, we are fired up. I got the armor of God coming out of Ephesians 6, 10, and 20. Friends, if you can get your Bibles out, I'll wait for you. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it, friends. Heavenly Father, I just come before you right now as I do another podcast. I get into your word. As I share your word with, uh, with the, my friends, family, the hearers of the word. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for everything you provided, everything you, you know, you, you keep us going and you, you, you give us this strength, this light uh, to keep moving day by day as we're in your word. God, as I just do another podcast, I, I'm, you know, in, in your mission and your, your, uh, <laughs> under your influence, God. Heavenly Father, I just, I saw that in the other day as uh, you gave me visions and stuff, and you said, are we under God's uh, influence, or we are under the enemies? Well, God, I'm serving you, and I'm, um, I know you called me into this mission, so I thank you. I want to lift up my friends, uh, and, uh, you know, protection. And uh, courage and strength and hope. And, uh, you know, as I hear my words, I hear your words, I'm just a voice uh, doing your work, God. And uh, so I just want to lift them up and encourage them. And uh, cast out whatever demons, whatever is, uh, you know, in confusion, hurting, pain. I want to lift that up, God, right now. I want to cast it to you as I lay the crown at your feet, God. I I just want to, uh, you know, just encourage them, lift them up, God. As you know, I know you can. So, uh, I just, uh, you know, call it out, call out the, call out the angels. Have your arms, have your heavenly angels protect them. Uh, as we trust and lean on you, God, and not of our own understanding. So, God, I just thank you so much, and uh, as I continue your mission, as I do these podcasts, and you know, as the you know, as I hear your word and your your messages, God, I just thank you so much in your Son's precious name, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, and amen, and amen, and another amen, just because can. Amen. What's going on, friends? Worldwide live ministry podcast. Pastor Ripper out here live. I uh, hitting the internet radio tonight, friends. We are blasting the devil. With the precious word of God, and we got to stand on His word, my friends. Uh, no doubt about that, friends. This, we are in a, in a falling, uh, dark world. Is that you know? Is just watch the headlines, see what's going on, my friends, because we are in the world, but we are not of it. Uh, we went from natural to supernatural, friends. And we got to keep that word of God on it. Overcome the, what was it? Overcome the devil's fear with faith. Because he's trying to overcome our faith with his fear. And the only way that happens, friends, is if we let him. What are you going to do, friends? Don't let him have control over you. Don't let him. Don't give him the fear. Or don't give him, what? Don't give him in. To the fear. That's what I meant to say. All right, friends. We got a jam-packed podcast. We're doing the Bible study tonight, friends. I'm so excited. Uh, as I usually am. Uh, amen. As I was just trying to fix my notes. And I just raced right over them. All right. Jesus heals the blind. My friends, chapter 9, chapter 10, it's on, because the devil won't leave it alone. Well, by grace we are saved, my friends. All right, get your coffee, your pens, papers, notebook, tablets, uh, all that good stuff, my friends, because it's on. It's uh, Monday night. It is Monday night. Uh, we got our coffee. 
hats on, jackets on, Bibles, pens, papers, notebook, tablets. Ah, oh, rejoice in the Lord, my friends. And again, he says, rejoice. All right, let me make sure my laptop don't go out here. Oh, uh, my gosh, friends. Hey, I got a shout-out list. You know, of course, everybody on my, uh, or on the Facebook, Twitter pages, all the social media outlets, friends, you know, God put it out there. I didn't. I, I you know, I prayed and, and gave thanks to him for what he has got me through. You know, I, I when I was in my darkest days, uh, clinging to the old rugged cross, uh, I was hanging on, holding on, and I kept my faith in God, and I made him a promise. And uh, I was laying there in the dark. And I called him out. I said, God, you get me through this. I will do the work, do, do the work of the evangelist. I will do your work and spread the good news gospel. And as I, I just read in the New Testament theology, uh, as we do the work of the evangelist and make known the ministry. Uh, so, as I was doing that, my friends, this is why I'm doing this. Now, I'm trying to uh, keep the pressure on the devil by getting this word out. And I, I appreciate you guys that are, you know, been watching, listening uh, to the podcast. I see the numbers climbing. Um, and I appreciate that. I'm humbled to do this, friends. Uh, God has taught me a lot about uh, being humble, being patient. Be an understanding, clarity. As I have been called to ministry, I know that is his. And, uh, you know, and that devil, that pesky devil, comes in there to kill, steal, and destroy. So, it ain't going to happen, not on my watch, as we've been called to be watchmen on the wall, my friends. In the world, but not of the world, right? And uh, as we get rid of that... You know, that thinking. Uh, amen. And, you know, so God is smiling, my friends. He is, he, he's open ears and ready to hear because he gave this to me, friends. Amen. Gave me the word. He gave us the word. We got to have the word, friends. All right, my brothers and sisters. Well, like I said, we're talking about the shout out list. Now, if you want to make the shout out list, hit me up. Let me know what's up. I'll put you on the list, friends. You made the list. So, Everybody, all my friends, my family, uh, everybody at Facebook, Twitter, all the social media channels, and the podcast pages, worldwide, globally, international, man, it's fantastic, friends, it's excellent, and uh, personally, thank you, amen. Well, we got our brother Mark hanging out at the Christian Watchers of the 2017-2024 Solar Eclipses, uh, would you go over there and say howdy? And mind the rules, would you? Amen. You know, it's a good place to shake a hand and meet a friend. Amen. All right. Of course, Miss Susan, you made the list, darling. I appreciate you. And thanks for the support. Uh, and uh, Miss Christina, always thankful for uh, your support and everything. And that is so cool. Um, you know, so appreciate that. Miss Laura, my good friend there. Thank you. Uh, Miss Sophie on my CBN page, friends. You know, I have a channel over there, my Christian Broadcasting Network. It ain't about me. Uh, you know, it's about uh, it's about God, and we got to put Him first at all times. So uh, I appreciate that. So that is uh, that is some coolness, my friends, because God is the cool or the coolest of the cool. Amen. Of course, my good brother, Pastor Craig Day, uh, well, he's resting. He's uh, getting ready to toast up the devil and uh, get some, uh, you know, get some heavy-duty booty kicking on the devil. Uh, so he's resting. He's, uh, he's uh, taking care of some things and uh, coming real soon, friends. So I'm going to get him on the air. We're going to talk to him and, uh, you know, we got him on the same... No, I set him up on pretty much on the same page as I am. So, uh, it'll be concentrating really kind of on, uh, I think, YouTube, Facebook, Blog Talk Radio, Anchor and Spreaker, just to 
a few of them because uh, you know our our mission statements a little different, and our you know our our podcasts are are a little different. See, now I've been called to preach and teach and be a shepherd and be a pastor. Uh, you know, regardless of what man thinks and regardless of what uh, you know what their opinions are. Uh, I'm not really concerned about that. I'm just doing what God told me to do. So, like I said, our mission is going to be a little different. Our podcasts are a little different right now. Uh, and, you know, I, I've been brought in to be a teacher, be a rabbi, uh, you know, a minister of the Word of God, friends. And uh, so, yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out, you know, just listening, and I, you know, just the support. It's uh, been awesome. So, uh, so yeah, we we got our shout out. Let's let's continue, shall we? Uh, Miss Tiffany Blackwell Ministries and Facebook, of course. Uh, talk about on fire for a God, my friends. Go check it out. Uh, amen. Also, now uh, someone new on there. He's been on there for quite a while. Pastor Bob, even check him out. Facebook, all over the world, friends. Uh, talk about a power. A power podcast, friends. Go check that out. It's a message. Uh, really awesome. Appreciate that, though. Uh, of course, Miss Jackie over at Twitter Periscope doing the Midnight Scopes, friends. Monday through Sunday, blasting the devil with the Midnight Scope, my friends. Hey, uh, go hang out with her. Go uh, If you need a prayer, well, I'll pray for you anyway, right here. You know, we always do that. We've got a 24-hour prayer line. Uh, so go check it out. Midnight Scope, Miss Jackie on the air live. Hey, Amen. So awesome. And then my friend, my pastor friend, Albert iHeartRadio. Uh, pastor Michael Holcomb, Bible Days Ministries. Uh, very cool. Very cool podcast, friends. you got to check that out. In the Word of God, my friends. Uh... What else? Oh, yeah, don't forget, we've been added to, uh, what do we got? We got Spotify, TuneIn, uh, where was the other one? Hang on, friends, let me, let me get my notes before we get started here. We got uh, Stitcher and TuneIn. God is awesome, friends. Did you, did you know that? How awesome and at uh, how much peace God gives you, if you just have faith and trust in Him, my friends. Come on now, you can do it. I know you can. All right, friends. Uh, I'm excited, my friends. Let me get over here. I don't want to lose our channel here. So check it out, Anchor.com. Nine different channels, nine platforms, my friends. Can you believe that? Uh, how cool God is. Oh my God, it brings tears of joy to my eyes. And uh, just so much, friends, you know, he he, uh, he trusts us in the least. And uh, so he, you know, will get us to the greatest. But you just got to have faith, my friends. Let me grab some mud. I got that mud, that Java Cola. That cafe, it's got a little French am amaretto. Staste, taste, 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 what's that? My friends. All right, we got the shout out list done. We're on the air. We're having fun. We're doing a Bible study tonight, friends. Chapter 9, chapter 10, in the great book of love, the book of John, friends. Will you go there? Amen. All right, let me get my... Let me get my recliner set up here, friends. We are ready to go. I got a scripture off the bat for you. Before we get into our armor of God, turn to, my friends, Ephesians 6, 10, and 20. Go there right now. I'll wait for you. That's all right. I got coffee. I got plenty of activities going on right now in the brand new studio. Uh, tucking in the goats, checking on the dogs, checking on the, on the, <laughs> the cat. Man, we got a... We got a bunch of animals over here, friends. Amen. And uh, gr glad to do it. It's it's cool, friends. 
I feel like we're no on the arc, friends. Hey, Amen. Let me adjust my headphones. I had to get some new, well, not new ones, but uh, I switched out from the, the little in-ear ones so I could hear a little bit better. <sighs> hey, man, take a deep breath. Relax. Uh, pull up your trays and uh, hear the Word of God, my friends. Glad you guys are here. Did I tell you how much I appreciate you guys? Amen. Hey, I got a scripture for you, friends. Can we go there? Let's look at 2 Peter 1, 2. Grace and peace be yours in abundance. Amen. And the name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run to him and are safe, friends. Are you letting go? Are you trusting in God? Come on now. You did it your way. You know, you, you like that saying says, you did it your way. But, what, friends, come on now. God's way is the way, my friends. Uh, so that was in uh, Proverbs 18.10. All right. Armor up, friends. Armor time. Go to your Bibles, Ephesians 6.10 and 20, out of the NIV. Because, you know, we need armor, friends. That is not a joke. We have got to put our armor on every single day, every time we get out of bed. Uh, you know, three or four times, five times, I don't know. However many times, we got to put on our armor, friends. Lots going on out here. Lots going on. Let's get in our armor, friends. All right, try not to yawn, friends. Uh, it's been a very long day. Amen, and amen, and amen. All right, friends, let's go to it. Finally, my brethren and my sisters, uh, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Because, you know, he's always scheming about something, right? Amen. For our struggle is not. Now watch this, friends. Our struggle, our fights, our battles, our worries, our strife, our stress, is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil. In the heavenly realms. Therefore, family, we got to put on the full armor of God. So when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, what are you going to do, friends? You got to stand firm then with, are you ready? The belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted or shod, as it says in the King James, with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Now, in addition to all this, you've got to take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows or the fiery darts of the evil one. I uh, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which, friends, we know is the word of God. Uh, it's the Bible. <laughs> Hello, it's the Bible, friends. We've got to have that word, that word of God, friends, every single day, no matter what. Hang on, I my microphone is uh, is not cooperating. I just want to make sure I'm not blasting you out too much. Uh, behind the scenes, friends. Now, one day, I'll do a behind uh, behind the scenes podcast. Hey, Amen. So, yeah, put the boom stand up there. It's working out a lot better. All right. So, looking at, uh, what, 18 here? And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert. Be sober. And always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. 
And pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given to me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel. Amen. The good news gospel. Now, for which I am an ambassador in chains and uh, pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. My friends, you have been armored up to the teeth. You're ready to go. Amen. Are we? All right. I know where I'm going. I'm going to grab some more coffee, friends. Uh, amen. Amen and amen just because we can't, right? All right. I'm going to throw a couple scriptures out at you. We've got a little bit of time here. Uh, let me go into 2 Corinthians 6, 1, and 7, friends. We just got a little time here on Anchor. You know, we got a full scheduled podcast here at Spreaker Studio. So I hope you guys can find that. iHeartRadio, Facebook, Twitter, Google. It's going to be on YouTube. All these uh, all these podcasts are posted uh, right to all the channels and the sites. So check it out, my friends. 2 Corinthians 6, 1, and 7, my friends. We then as workers together with him also plead with you not to receive the grace of God in you. For he says in an acceptable time, I have heard you. And in the day of salvation, I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. And behold, now is the day of salvation. We give no offense in anything that our ministry may not be blamed. But in all things, we commend ourselves as ministers of God in much. Amen. Now, here it is, friends. Now, watch this. Are you hearing this? But in all things, we commend ourselves as ministers of God in much patience, in tribulations, in tumults, in labors, in sleeplessness, in fastings, in joy, purity by knowledge, in sufferings by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by sincere love, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness, on the right hand and the left. All right, there you go. Ah, uh, friends. <laughs> well, we better, we better, you know what? We're going to go right straight into our Bible study. I was just praying, Spirit, show me where we got to go. Well, he showed me where we got to go, friends. Are you ready? Get into our Bible study, chapter 9 and 10. Come on, you got to get excited about the Word of God, my friends. Hey, man, take a deep breath here, friends. Amen and... <laughs> Amen. Oh, yeah, I got to give you this. Here we go. I, see, I knew the Spirit was going to shift me and give me another scripture to read out, right? He always does. I love this. 2 Corinthians 3.18 And we all with unveiled faces all rejoice uh, in the Lord's glory. We bring, or we being transformed into his likeness with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Amen. And you know, like I said, friends, I never know why the Spirit gives it to me. I just know that I've got to be obedient. Amen. Rejoice. All right. Sorry about the moment of silence. Wasn't trying to do that on purpose, friends. I just get to, you know, I'm getting thought here, and I've got to fix these messages that I'm, I'm still going through all my podcast notes here, friends. So that's why. All right, get your Bibles. Chapter 9. we got to get moving. All right, church. And the church says, hallelujah, amen. We are fired up. We are ready to go. Can you tell? I'm just a little bit excited 
about teaching the Word of God. So let's go to your Bibles, chapter 9. Amen. And we're going to try to get to chapter 10 here. Because uh, we've got a lot to cover. All right, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, now I wonder, what did he ask him? He was saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sin nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that, uh, that sent me, while it is day, the night cometh, when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Now, in 6, when he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and anointed the eaves of the blind man with the clay. And he said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Salaam, which is by interpretation sense. He went his way there, uh, therefore, and washed and came seeing. Now remember, this is out of the King James Version, my friends. Okay? All right, brothers and sisters, having some church Bible study tonight, friends. Amen. And I'll see you guys tomorrow right back at it again. No, hey, we got to keep the pressure on the devil, friends. All right, let's continue. Chapter uh, not, or 9, verse 8 in the, the book of John, friends. Now, the neighbors, therefore, and they, hang on here, friends, all right, they, where did we go? Oh, there we are. <laughs> they, which before had seen him, that he was blind, said, Is not this be that sat and begged? And some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him, but he said, I am he. Therefore said they unto him, How were thine eyes opened? And he answered and said, A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed mine eyes, and said unto me, Go to the pool of Salaam and wash. And I went and washed, and I received sight. Amen. Praise him. Praise God. Amen. Then he said, they said unto him, What? Then said they unto him, Where is he? He said, I know not. They brought to the Pharisees, the bad guys of that day, him that uh, aforetime was blind. And it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. Then again, the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. And he said unto them, He put clay upon mine eyes, and I washed and do see. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, This man is not of God, because he keepeth. Hang on here, friends. Let me move my coffee out. I don't want to spill that right now. So, anyway, friends. Okay. So, therefore said some of the Pharisees, This man is not of God, because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Others said, How can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? And there was a division among them. Ah, uh, confusion. <laughs> they say unto the blind man again, What sayest thou of him, that he hath opened thine eyes? He said, He is a prophet. Well, there you go. There's your answer. Hello? He is a prophet. But, alright, so, 
the Jews did not believe uh, concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight. Uh, it sounds like they got the spirit of doubting Thomas, right? The, the Thomas doubting, or doubting Thomas, the, the doubts of Thomas, the spirit of him. Uh, so, in 18 we see again, but the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight until they called the parents of him that had received his sight. Uh, and they asked him, saying, Is this your son, who say, or ye say, was born blind? How then doth he now see? And his parents answered them and said, We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But by what means he see now seeth, we know not. Or who hath opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age, ask him. He shall speak for himself. And these words spake his parents, because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had already, or agreed already, that if any man did confess that he was Christ, he should be put out of the synagogue. Therefore, said his parents, he is of age, ask him. Then again called they the man that was blind, and said unto him, Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. Now he answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know that, whereas I was blind, now I see. Isn't that the truth for all of us, friends? Did you hear that, my friends? Uh, <laughs> that, that's part right there, that uh, that verse right there, uh, just, I mean, it just hit so, uh, so much right there, friends, you know, uh, and he answered and said, whether he be a sinner or no, I know not, one thing I know, friends, see, we all, we, listen, this is where we, our repentance, where uh, our acknowledgement, and uh, where we have to, you know, listen, friends. Whereas I was blind, now I see. Amen, my friends. That is so good. Then said they to him, What did he to thee? How opened he thine eyes? And he answered them, I have told you already. See, I can tell he's getting a little perturbed. He's getting a little... A little uh, upset here. They keep asking him the same over questions over and over again and want to trap him, kind of like Jesus did in the gift of no condemnation. Uh, so he answers them again. He said, I told you already, and he not here. Uh, so, <laughs> Spirit's just nudging me again, laughing, going, see, I told you. I told you. I know, I know. <laughs> and uh, as I said, he did not hear whereof would you hear it again? Uh, will you also let me back up here? Okay, 26. Then said they to him again, What did he to thee? How opened he thine eyes? And he answered them, I told you already, and you did not hear. Wherefore, would ye hear it again? Will you also be his disciples? Then they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciple, but we are Moses' disciples. We know that God spake unto Moses as for this fellow. We know not from whence he is. Now, the man answered and said unto them, Why herein? is a marvelous thing, that ye know not from whence he is, and yet he hath opened mine eyes. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God, friends, hello, are we listening, are we paying attention to what the Spirit uh, is showing us uh, here, friends? I, I hope so. 
Uh, this is why the spirit keeps nudging me to do this. Uh, you know not from whence he is, yet he hath opened mine eyes. Amen. Uh, now we know that God heareth not sinners. But if, hear, hear this, friends. Watch this, church. Uh, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doth his will, him he heareth. Amen. Amen. Since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind? If this man were not of God, he could do nothing. They answered and said unto him, Thou wast altogether born in sins, and dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. Now Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said unto him, Do, or Dost thou believe on the Son of God? Oh my gosh, friends. Dost thou believe on the Son of God? And he answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? Ah, uh, man. And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. And he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. And Jesus said, For judgment I come into this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be made blind. Power, friends. I'm telling you, this is power scriptures here. we got to study this. Read the book. Be in the book, my friends. Uh, amen. Now, chapter 10, brothers and sisters, I am the good shepherd. I love this scripture, or this chapter here. I love all of it, but this happens to be one of my favorites. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. And he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Amen. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of a strangers. Uh, of, of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were, which he spake unto them. Uh, then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door. Again, he says, I am, right? Are we watching that, friends? I heard evangelists talk about that. Uh, people are deceived. Uh, they want to keep doing the affirmation things in the mirror. I am beautiful. I am the... Whoa, wait a minute. I am is our Heavenly Father, our Yahweh, uh, Jehovah Jireh. Uh, not, we are not God, God is God, and, uh, you know, when you, when you're sitting there, you know, staring at the mirror, or whatever, that's what she was talking about, was people stare at the mirror, they try to do these, all these affirmation things, I am this, I am that, whatever, I talked about that before, uh, but, uh, we are not, I am, <laughs> friends, uh, as, as she likes to say, you better get right with God. Amen. Uh, you better, you better get right, friends, because we are not I am. 
sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. I bumped my microphone again. It's uh, set up a little bit different, so. So, yeah, so that's what brought me to that. Anyway, that was not a rant, friends. I just wanted to bring that up because I was just thinking of the evangelist when she was doing her podcast the other day. She said that there's too many people thinking that and doing that and singing it and all that stuff. You put yourself first. We are not I am. That's what brought me to this point. Chapter, or verse 7, chapter uh, 10 here. Uh, it says, Then said Jesus unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. Uh, again, I am, friends, the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, amen, and shall go in and out and find pasture. And the thief cometh not, but for to steal, kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Uh, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not. Seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and flee, or fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is a hireling, and careth not for the sheep, which is wolves in sheep's clothing, false prophets, false preachers. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Try to take notes here, friends. Amen. So, that's what they're talking about here. Uh, false prophets, false teachers. Lots of them out there, friends. Lots of religions, but uh, not a personal relationship with Christ, friends. That's what we've got to be aware of. But, he that is a hireling and not the shepherd, whose own sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the, the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is not, or he is a hireling, uh, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Uh, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold and uh, one shepherd. Amen. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I may take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down for, of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again, this commandment have I received of my Father. There was a division, therefore, again, among the Jews for these sayings. And many of them said, He hath a devil, and is mad. Why ye hear him? Or why ye hear ye him? Others said, There are not the words of him that hath the devil. Can a devil open the eyes of the blind? Good question. I and my Father are one. Amen. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. Oh, man. Uh, and Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch, which we're going to learn here, friends, uh, in the New Testament uh, theology series podcast that I'm doing. Uh, we're going to look at the wisdom of Solomon. It's pretty gruesome and stuff, friends. Uh, it talks about uh, cannibalism. 
uh, you know, in, in those times, there was a lot of stuff going on, friends. So just have an ear to hear and, and hearts to listen and, and, you know, just hear. Uh, but there are some gruesome stuff in there, friends. I'm telling you, if you've ever read an Orthodox Study Bible, uh, check it out. The Wisdom of Solomon, the Wisdom of Sirach, and the Book of Baruch, friends, who's the secretary uh, to uh, Jeremiah. All right, those are coming up, friends. i got a lot to cover. Uh, okay, so I and my father are one. Now, I'm going to go back uh, down here to 24. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. See, he was talking in parables. Now, I did a... I did a uh, Par- uh, uh, podcast on the parables. So, and Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Well, amen. Preach it. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hands. See, right there, friends. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hands. I and my Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. And Jesus answered the many Many good works have I showed you from my Father, which of those works do ye stone me? And the Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for for blasphemy, and because that thou being a man makest thyself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, ye are gods? And if he called them gods, and to whom the word of God came, and the scriptures cannot be broken, say ye of him, whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, uh, thou blasphemest? Because I said, I am the Son of God. Amen. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But I do. But if I do, uh, through ye believe not me, believe the works. That ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Amen. Therefore, They sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hand and went away beyond Jordan into the place where John at first baptized, uh, and there he abode. Oh, man. And many resorted unto him and said, John did no miracle, but all things that John spake of this man were true. Uh, And many believed on him there. Oh, my friends. Power words of the book of John. All right. So, we are going to pick up right there tomorrow. We're going to go look at chapter 11 uh, and chapter 12. Lots to cover, my friends. I'm telling you, it is deep. There's a lot going on. Uh, You know, John is a busy book, and there is so much happening. Uh, So, now, I'm going to pray on this, but we may end up just going right uh, into the next book, which is going to be the Acts of Apostles, or the Acts of the Apostles. So, uh, <laughs> friends, I, 
Uh, you know, it's like I said, it's always been a really long day here. So much going on, but I'm I'm glad and humbled and appreciative uh, to uh, to be here to preach this good news gospel to share the Bible scriptures, my friends. Amen. So we're going to talk about. Uh, the book, uh, that's going to be the next set of Bible studies that we're going to do, friends. We're going to go into the uh, book of Acts. Uh, man, oh man, is it good, friends. I'm telling you. Uh, really amazing. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, what else? Well, you know, we, we've always got lots to give you here. So this is a pretty interesting book, friends. I've read it before, gone through it before, and uh, man, so much. All right, well, what do we got? So yeah, chapter eleven and twelve tomorrow, friends. Uh, to, oh, we're gonna try to get on a little earlier. I've been doing these late night ones just because, uh, just the way things have been going and and how, you know, how much I got on my plate, but. You know, God's got it, friends. I don't even have to worry about it. I, I don't worry about it. Well, we got just a few more minutes here, actually, uh, about an hour, briefly about an hour. Um, and I don't want to get clo- or shut off here. Hey, man, I had to get some coffee. Got to wake up, friends. It's a little after 12. Uh, hanging out in the studio. Glad to be here. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick Rowley here live. Um, wow. All right, friends. Closing out uh, the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Let's do that real quick here while we got a chance. Dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner and I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart. That you are the Son of God, and I believe you are the Lord, and that God raised you from the dead. Please forgive me of my sins and wash my heart clean. Come and live in my heart. Be the Lord of my life, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Teach me to walk with you and live for you the rest of my life. Thank you for saving me and for giving me the gift of eternal life in heaven with you. Now, friends, thank you for doing that. I uh, appreciate that. You know, and God has a big smile on his face, too. He says, thank you. So, if you have said that prayer, if you accepted Christ into your hearts, my friends, get a hold of us here, lifegraceministry60 at gmail.com, our official email for the website. Don't forget, we're all over the place. We're, we're also at uh, WordPress, uh, you know, and the usual, plus, uh, you know, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Periscope Live, uh, right here at Anchor, right here at Spreaker. Don't forget Blog Talk Radio. Uh, try, I was trying to get on there twice a day, but, uh, you know, scheduling is still, I'm praying on it uh, for time management uh, that, uh, you know, that some things open up. So, but uh, we're going to be, well, I will. Uh, like I said, Pastor Craig Day is off the mountain. He is ready, fired up, uh, getting a little bit more rest and uh, praying on the Spirit to, uh, uh, you know, to, you know, just to show him some stuff, friends. I'm telling you, it's gonna, it's gonna be uh, bring tears to your eyes and bring you to your knees, friends. And so, like I said, we're on a different, uh, like a different, different uh, podcast mission. Uh, or what do you call that? I, I don't know what you call it. What do you call it? What do you, what is that, friends? Hey, Amen. Hang on. I'm moving stuff in the studio here. Um, all right, friends. <laughs> That's it. We're out of here. Have a good night. Be blessed. Anchor.com. I'll see you soon. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Spreaker.com, all kinds of good stuff, friends. Have a great night. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick Rowley live. Uh, hanging out. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, friends. Good night and good morning and good day. Amen. All right. Well, we got Spreaker on the line. What? We're still on the air. Yes, we are, my friends. We are still on the air. 
late night podcast, my friends. Well, we got to save that episode and get that uh, get that rolling, my friends. Uh, it's still processing, so we're gonna we're gonna let that go. And uh, it is Monday night, my friends. Monday night, can you believe that? Amen. All right. Hang on here, friends. I'm just trying to do some updating here. Oh, man, so much to go. So much to do. Uh, all right, friends. Well, uh, we are just about out of time. Amen. And uh, hanging out. Uh, all right. So hang on here, friends. All right. Well, I think that's it, friends. We are we're out of here. Uh, I'm going to get uh, this uploaded and set and ready. Amen. Uh, where are we at here? All right. So, my friends, don't forget. Now, where do we... We just left off with uh, 9 and 10. Chapter 9 and 10. Uh, all right. Okay, here, friends. Just a second. Um... All right. So, my friends, that's it. Don't forget, we are studying in the Orthodox Study Bible and Blog Talk Radio, friends. Uh, the Wisdom of Solomon, the Wisdom of uh, Sirach, and the uh, Book of uh, Barak. Now, I know some feathers are getting ruffled. Somebody's getting all bent out of shape. They're twisting it around. Going, You're not reading from the right Bible, brother. You need to be saved. No, you need to listen to what the Spirit is saying. Uh, <laughs> because I'm telling you, friends, there's so much out there. You know, and that scripture, by the way, that I've been, I, I looked at, I looked that up. I, you know, the Spirit showed me. Uh, over in John sixteen twelve, and we're going to get to that here, friends, in our Bible study. We are. We're going to get to that. It clearly says, my friends, in sixteen twelve, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. Uh, however, when he, the Spirit of the truth, has come, he will guide you into all truths. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. And he will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. All things that the Father has are mine, therefore I said he will take of mine and declare it to you. See, so friends, I have prayed and trusted God. Uh, I have diligently seeked Him. Or I don't know, seek that. Seek Him. Uh, daily. Daily in my walk. And have asked for more wisdom. More uh, discernment. More understanding. Uh, you know, and... Uh, have asked, not begged, but I've asked uh, for uh, for you know discernment and understanding, uh, and uh, have got it. So, all right. All right. Hang on here, friends. All right, so that was my point. I have asked and prayed, so I got a better understanding as a teacher, uh, you know, as a student of the Word. 
I've asked and prayed for this. God has been good. He has been providing so much for me. The Spirit is is indwelling uh, so much information to me and giving me so much stuff, my friends, that uh, this is why he's called me to be a teacher. Well, teachers got to study. Teachers got to get that understanding, uh, you know, so that they can teach the correct words. I know there's a lot of false teachers out there, a lot of false pastors up on the pulpit preaching out of uh, feelings, out of uh, their five senses, their five, uh, their five, uh, you know, the five senses. They're preaching out of that. They're fi- preaching, you know, out of anger, out of uh, depression, frustration, whatever it is. They're in the flesh. They're not preaching. Uh, oops, there goes my mic again. They are not preaching the word of God, even though they claim they are. He says there will be mockers and there will be. Uh, false teachers and false preachers. So I have prayed for the understanding, for clarity, to get this word out to you. Because I want this to be the right word, the spirit-filled word, the spirit-led word of God. And uh, so that's why we're going into this Orthodox Study Bible. You look it up. You can check it out. It's there. These books are there. Uh, And there's a reason... Uh, you know, nothing happens by happenstance. There's a reason why I was given this book. I never heard of it. I've never read it. I've never looked at it. I didn't even think about it. Uh, but a good pastor friend of mine gave this to me, friends. And, and this is where I'm supposed to be at right now. I'm reading out of the King James. I got the NIV, the NLT. Now, I've been doing all the podcasts, uh, Block Talk Radio. Uh, I've been hitting uh, the Orthodox Study Bible. And there's a reason for it, my friends. You know, I, I'm just not just making this stuff up. You know, I, I'm not doing that, friends. This is not my words. This is God's word. And uh, no matter, you know, no matter how they want to slice it, no matter what they want to say, I uh, when I, I love it when they say, "Oh, you're not reading from the right Bible. You're not reading from the right script." Well, no, you need to go listen to what the Spirit tells you. Don't tell me that. I want to know on my own. I'm listening to what the Spirit gives me, uh, and that's why I love that book, friends. Stay tuned. Check it out. Block Talk Radio, full bore, full blast, and the devil in the uh, Orthodox Study Bible. Uh, continue tomorrow, my friends. King James Version, chapter, what is it, 11 and 12, in the book of John. I'm excited about that Bible study. we got to continue that on. Uh, friends, that's it. We're out of here. I uh, Get to rest, get some Bible study in, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. It'll be posted on Facebook, and uh, you know, don't forget Facebook. we got World Wildlife Ministry Podcast at Facebook.com, Twitter, Periscope, YouTube. All these podcasts are going to be uh, set up and reposted and replayed uh, just as soon as I get done, my friends. Hey, man, well, have a good night. Have a good morning to your work day, friends, uh, wherever you're, whatever you're doing. And I'm glad you guys could uh, spend some time here on the podcast. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, have a good night, friends. Good morning. Good day. Uh, as you go into your Tuesday work day, be blessed, friends. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Well, I won't see you, but I'll, I'll hear you. So, anyway, or you'll hear me anyway. Uh, friends, that's it. I will see you again soon, friends. Have a good night. Pastor Rick Rally, World Wildlife Ministry Podcast, on the air, preaching God's message. Friends, have a good morning, good day, good night. Amen. All right, friends. I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Bye.